you must be pretty upset. Getting chased out of your own office. I'd be mad too. So I guess you could stay. If you promise to stay out of our way. You wouldn't tend to hide your crime under the guise of prosecutor doing his job. Hmm. I can see right through your unsightly paper thin mask. You wear upon your cowl. <laughs> who'd, who'd had ever thought that it would come to this? Actually, come to think of it, your mentor Manfred von Karma, right? Hmm? A legendary prosecutor who never lost a single case for 40 years. But there's always been this incessant chatter about forged evidence with that guy. Really teaches me that I've got to stay on the lookout for your false accusations, you know. Are you done trying to play mind games with me? Because they won't work. By the way, that voice I'm doing is because the original person did that. No, no, you're doing it correctly. No, because like... I never say you were. No, 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 just for... Because they don't know why I'm doing that voice thing. Oh. <sighs> just because it sounds kind of weird, I'm like, yeah, that's what that's what it does. On Sorry, one... I'm a little tired. Yeah, it's cool. The one thing you should be using, and that's mouthful, now is explaining yourself. Although, that too will only dig your hole deeper. Either way, your game is up. Well, aren't you full of yourself, even though you haven't yet to proven anything? <laughs> Mr. Portsman's rebuttal. I have no idea what sort of hairbrain idea you have in mind, but... There's a mountain of evidence that points away from me being the culprit. Besides, how may I ask, do you propose I unlock the door and got here? Look, I feel bad doing this to you, but I've got work to do, so we're just gone here. Alright, that was testimony? Sorry, but we are not finished yet. Boy, you are stubborn. I suppose you are basling your accusations on something. <laughs> I said basling. <laughs> Basing. All right, I'll show you what I'm basing my accusations on with evidence. Rebuttal. Oh no. Yeah, you you know where the evidence is? Forward. What? I know. Forward. I, I still have to read all of this first. No, right. no, no. It's like. When when that happens, it just means when it's green text, it just means what the he said. It's kind of like your own brain, your own mind. Oh, th so I shouldn't press the. F so should I press him on? Cause I should press him on stuff. Give me a moment. I don't see it. I'm just gonna press everything. All right. No 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 no. I know when to use the word press. So. <laughs> No. Let me tell you when. You press to get other evidence. You present when you have no, your conclusion. But yes, but you don't do it in the first two texts. It's all about timing. Huh. I usually just do it like every single Oh, there you thing. go. Got it. Okay. Forward. All when right. I say forward, do not press press. But I should still be reading this. Because... That I haven't read this. I didn't yet. say you can't. Just don't read it as Portsman, because it's what Portsman said. Okay, right there. Use press. Wait, this wait, was wait, the wait, first wait, one. Wait, 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 no, that's the first one. I yeah. thought you pressed this. I, I thought you pressed forward. No, because what's it called? He hasn't said this yet, so I was gonna read this. 
Well, he did say it. It's called, um, it's like rephrasing. But he hasn't said this yet. Like the exact thing. All yeah, right. he did. Whatever. So you're saying he said a mount instead of evidence? Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> Forward. Press. Press this. Yeah, it's called press. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I believe I have already shown how earlier. Your speculations mean nothing, as I instill that I could not gain access to your room. Wow. What should I do now? How should I raise an objection? Raise. Raise an objection? Yes. You claim you have no way of opening the door. However, that's really the honest truth. <laughs> All right, I'll humor you. Go ahead, shoot. Very well then. I propose that you use this to open the door. Master, Master key. key. Yep. Present. I believe you were able to open the office door with the master key, no less. I need to increase the volume, sorry. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on for a sec. I never laid a half finger on that key, as you already know. Precisely, you were able to open the door without lifting a single finger. Well, maybe you did, but only to direct. <laughs> That's right, you used your finger to direct this person to open the door with the key. Maggie. Yeah. Present. You have asked Miss Burr to open the your own office door for you, yes? Yeah, I kind of forgot my key at home. Happens a bit too often for my test, you know? What's your room you had? Miss Bird opened at that time. Was not your own, was it? Uh. What? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I am so fucking tired. I am sorry if you're still recording. Yeah. Because half of this is oh, gone. Oh, God. You have quite an oh, imagination. God. But why don't you ask the girl herself whose door she opened, shall we? Yo. Oh, um, I'm certain that it was, it was Mr. Portsman's door, sir. Mr. Portsman, oh my god. I checked, I checked the number plate to make sure I was opening the door. I'm so fucking tired. Right door, sir. See, Miss Bird backs up my story. Sorry, I need to wake up so I can read. Alright. Yes. Uh. Yet, what if I, if you had misleaded her, to fool her into thinking what you wanted? Huh, <laughs> and how do you suppose I did that? By switching the number plates of our doors, for example. That's right! They did slide out pretty easy, uh, easily. And furthermore, you then used one other thing to give a very strong impression. That is, the door she was opening was yours and not, in fact, mine. What was it that Mr. Portsman used to Miss Ford think it was her? his room? Basketball hoops. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Present. That's quite the peculiar fixture in the hallway, yet alone a hall in this building. Which is why he left an unusual strong impression on you. It's an object perfectly suited to sit 
just outside the office of a peculiar prosecutor. That's very true, sir, because there is a basketball hoop sitting there. I thought, I thought the door I was opening had to be Mr. Portman's. There are signs that the hoop had been moved. And to sit it in front of my office, to be sure. I, I see. So, how do you throw suspicion on people? Thanks for the tip. But I think your conjecture's a little off on the racetrack. Is this a rebuttal? Oh. Uh. Shit. Testimony. All right. Now you're just spouting nonsense. I had a girl open my office door. After that, I was in my room the entire time. I think I know where Dingham Road probably got ripped off from. What? I think I know why Dingham Road is a rip off now. Of this? Yeah. Alright, because I also have to play Taco Ropa later. Oh, yeah. I mean, Dango Ropa is actually pretty good for yeah. its own plot. But the pink blood, though. Yeah. The pink fucking blood, though. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a single reason to suspect me. Or should I say, little old me. So he intends to claim his innocence to the end, does he? I am as pure and innocent as, the, as my jacket, is it? And Miss Bird is as dirty and guilty as the jacket she wears. My jacket's not dirty. I'll have you know. I just washed it yesterday. Please calm down, for I intend to show who is the true covering in slime here. Alright. Mr. Cat. Alright, here we go, guys. Okay. Forward. Yo. Forward. Yo. Present. Present. No left by victim. Note. Present, right? All yes. Right. Tick, tick, tick. And that was a lie. <laughs> what are you talking about? How was that a lie? This is a note from the victim left to you, Mr. Portsman. A, a note? It was left under your door, or did you not notice it? And right here it says, but you're out. You were not in your room when the victim came to call on you. So then, where were you? And what were you doing? And shall I explain it in full detail for you? You were busy snooping around in my room. This very room you had Miss Byrne open up for you. And Th that's just nonsense. You have no evidence that I made this girl open your door for me. Oh, but I do. I have a very decisive evidence. No way. This is proof positively that you had Miss Bird open the door for you. Is it Mr. Portsman Office present? I had your door dusted for prints. My door? Huh. What for? Come on. I bet you didn't find anything. You sure are good for wasting time. You're right. I didn't find anything. And definitely not Mrs. Bird's fingerprints. <laughs> Her prints? 
What do they have to do with anything? Let's put it in a way, if she really was the one who opened your door, then her prints should naturally be on the doorknob she touched. <coughs> and further, all the prints on my office doorknob have been wiped clean off. I can only assume it's because Mrs. Bird's prints were on it. Don't you think it's time you gave up your charade? We know you stole it to my office with the intent of stealing something from me. And Detective Fate found you out. Possibly because he heard sounds coming from the room whose occupant was on leave. Mr. Portsman, you killed Mr. Fate to silence him. And I had the misfortune to return when I did. You had to threaten me as you escaped. <laughs> as I said, you had the gun to my back. No one gets away with committing murder in my office. <laughs> <laughs> Just what's so funny, pal? Well, it looks so stiff, serious on the face of the office's finest prosecutor. As he makes a huge mistake in assuming me is simply too much to bear. There's just nothing else like it in the world. What?